Tabular representations for the functions f, g, and h are given below. Write g of x and h of x as transformations of f of x. Okie dokie. All right, so I have uh, f of x, g of x, and h of x here. So this box right here is representing the original function. And then the other ones are technically transformations of the original. So the first thing is, is I'm going to plot these very nice points over here. I have a graph over here. And remember, just know that f of x is a fancy way for saying y. So they gave you x and y coordinates, x and y, x and y, etc., etc. So let's plot the f of x graph. I'm going to do it in red. Okay, so we have negative 2, negative 2. So we're all the way down here. Then we have negative 1 and 1. Then we have 0, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So oof, we're, going all, we're going all over the place here. Okay, 1 and 1. So now we're all the way up here. Oh, gosh. And we have 2 and 2. Okay, let's connect the dots. So we're, we went over here. Then we went down. Oh, gosh, I... I never really did connect the dots as a kid. <laughs> then I'm over here. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to say that this is uh, f of x. This was the original function. Okay, now let's do the g of x graph and see how it looks similar. I'm going to do this one in, in uh, blue and just know that this is the same thing as y, any letter and then of x. So g of x, h of x, f of x, they're all equal to y values. So I have five points here that I can plug in. So let's see. We're now going to do negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so we're starting down here. Then we go 0, negative 1. Then we go 1, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Then we go 2, 1. 2, yeah, right, 2, 1. And then, whoop, there should be another one over here. Then we have three, one, two, three, and then two. Okay, perfect. Let's connect the dots again. Not bad. Okay, so this is g of x. Okay, what happened? How did I go from my original function, which was the red, to the blue? What type of shift did I do? This is the new one. Did I do any vertical shifts? Did I go up or down? No, right? This was my starting point. And then this was my starting point, right? And now maybe I'll do it in black just to show you, right? This was my starting point of the new function of the original function. And this was the starting point for my uh, new function. How did I get there? I had to have gone this way, right? I had to have went to the right. Let's just check the other one. Here's my second point. Here's my second point. I went to the right. Let's check the last point. Here's my last point. I went to the right. That's all that I did. I didn't vertically shift anything. It was a shift over. Now, how many numbers did we shift? Well, let's see. This one was under a negative one for the y and then this one was a zero what's the number difference in between them one right i went over one value to get to the new point i went over one value i went over to one value right so basically the g of x function and maybe i'll write it down here the g of x function shifted to the right by one so now they just want you to write it in terms of f of x. So what happened? You just shifted f of x to the right by 1. So I can say my new function g of x was the old function shifted to the right. And let's see. Oh, shift to the right is a negative x, right? So I can, I have to get into um, that parenthesis. So I can just erase this parenthesis and say minus one and that's it that's it that's your final answer for the g of x not bad let's try 
the f of x one. Not the f of x, the h of x one, right? Remember, this is just a fancy way for saying y. Let's plot these five points and see what happened to the original. Okay, so let's plot it. Negative 2, 1. So now I'm over here. Negative 1, 0. 0, negative 2. Um, 1 and 2. And then 2, comma 3. Okay, so let's plot those. Ding, ding, ding. This is coming all the way down here. This is... One all the way up here and then over here. Okay. So maybe let's see what happened. I'm talking about my H of X going from the original. The original, remember, was in red. Here was the starting point of my original. Here is my starting point of my new one. Oh, I went up this time. Well, let's see again. This one and then this one. Oh, I went up. Here's my end. Here's my end. I went up. How many numbers did I go up each time? I went only up one. I went up one. I went up one. I went up one. So it looks like for this one, I, all I had to do was shift up one. And that would get me the h of x. So my new h of x would be what? f of x shift up is a plus value and I shifted up one number so it would be a plus one and in this case it's outside of the function do you see the difference here plus one outside is a vertical shift minus one looking back at the previous answer was inside a horizontal shift and that is your answer. There you go. Guys, what do you think? My suggestion is always graph it because the graphing and the visualization helps a lot. All right. So when in doubt, graph it out. <laughs> Should make a shirt like that, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I hope this helped. Like this video if it helped you. Uh, subscribe if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. Bye-bye.